Hello everybody, and in this video, we're going to be creating a very simplified version of Wordle in App Lab. So let's jump right in. So right here is the app I've created. So as you can see, we have a type here input. And so let's just guess a file of word. So carts. And now here, as you can see, the ones that are grayed out, they are just not in the word. And the ones that are in have the green background, they're in the correct position, but the ones with the yellow background, they're in the word, but in the wrong position. So here, let's try another one. Let's try happy, perhaps. Okay, now, as you can see, these two and the Y are correct. Now, let's do Harry. And as you can see, that word is correct. So obviously, you can like add a list of words that it chooses from or you can like change the word according to your liking. So for now, let's just jump right in. So first, what I'm going to do is open code.org. Just like so. And then I'm going to sign in. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you're already signed in. Okay. So now create and we're going to create an app lab project. So let's just wait for this to load up. And yeah, here, as you can see, it actually loaded up. And first thing that I'm going to do is rename this project to Wordle uh, YT. Okay, save that. So first, we're basically going to do the design of our app. So first of all, what we're going to do is create these. So those are actually labels. So here, let me just drag in a label. There we go. We'll get rid of the text and we will do ID LBL underscore letter underscore zero. OK, now width, we'll set that to 60 and height 50. So yeah, that's about what we want. Now, X position, this will be like two. And Y position, let's see here. Let's just do that, sure. Yeah, five, okay. Uh, now let's scroll down and I'm going to put in one letter. So let's do D or something. And then font size, I'm going to just increase it and see what we can do here. Okay, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Now, Text alignment center. Now border width, we're going to take this up. Yeah, so three pixels, sure. And this, I'm going to change it to that grayish kind of color. And border radius, let's do 10. Okay. Yeah, and now what we'll do is just set the font to Arial. Yeah, there we go, that, that looks pretty good. And now we'll just copy paste, make it the same Y value, and let's just move it over. Okay, so let's make the Y position, yes, yeah, 66, okay, fine, yeah, that's okay. Uh, actually, let's check out the D. Yeah, now keep doing this. this there a little to the back okay that's pretty good yeah so here this will be 130 and then copy pastes again there we go and this we're gonna make 194 one more oh oops what did i just do oh. yeah there we go now copy and paste and move this over yeah okay that's yeah that's pretty good so next job what we're going to do is add our text input where we are actually going to type or guess actually wait uh let's label these properly label 
one, label rule two, label rule three, and label four. Yeah, there we go. And here, this text input, we're going to do txt underscore uh, guess and placeholder. What's it here? Yeah, type here. Okay, sure. Type here. Okay, now we're going to just. Yeah, that, that position's okay. Okay, also the theme here, let's just set that to classic. There, there we go. And, okay, I love that's good. Uh, okay, let's just move it a little more down. Okay. Uh, that's good, that's good. And border radius, let's actually set that to 10. Okay, yeah. Now the button, which is going to be the submit button. So, btn underscore submit. And then in here, we're going to type in submit, just like so. And yeah, right here, the width, we're going to set that to like 150. Yeah, okay, that's good. Move it over. And height, let's do 50. Yeah, okay. Move it there. Oh, that's good. Okay, the color, let's actually change that to, yeah, that color, sure. And that's good, that's good. And border radius 10. Okay, uh, now we're done pretty much with the design, and now we're just going to get straight into the code. So, yeah, button submit, all of that's right. Uh, uh okay we have to set the height to actually 50 i don't know how that got to 42 but yeah we can just easily f fix that uh 50 and last one 50 oh oh no 50 okay there we go uh yeah now like i said straight into the code so the first thing we're gonna do here is create a variable called answer or ends here and uh let's just do cards obviously you can like make this whatever you want you can also like create a list or an array right here and then you can like loop through the array and like select a random answer from that now we're going to create another one letter underscore list and this will equal this is actually going to be an array and I'll explain what this just does uh, after creating it. So here what we're going to do is basically the IDs of these labels. We're just going to basically put that in right here. So label letter zero. Oops. Yeah, let's just copy it with the quotes. Zero, this will be one, two, three, and four so basically what this is going to do is that for like setting the background and like keeping the text like from here so whatever we answered for putting that here we're going to use this array to basically map through all of these all of these labels and then we're going to like set the property of those labels background color and text and yeah basically we're going to change the text and background color for them okay Next, we'll create an on event function, on event of the button submit. When we click that button, what we will do is function just like so. And basically, the first thing is we're going to define some variables even in this on event function. And yeah, basically next we're going to, uh, okay, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, so next what we're gonna do is create another variable, which is going to be answer list, list, which equals answer here, not guess, answer dot split and quotes. Yeah, 
So this basically just does the same thing as this, but just with this answer. So the cards will be separated by each character and that's all that does. Okay, so now we're actually going to get into the implementation. So the first thing that we're gonna do is create a for loop here. For and then var i and will equal zero by default. And then i is less than five because we have five letters and i plus plus okay now there we go let's do that and here we'll create an if statement just like that uh, what's there oh okay yeah so here what we're gonna do is guess list the variable that we defined at i is equal to answer list at at i which basically means the answer is correct then what we're gonna do is set property property of letter list at i so basically whichever loop like number we're on so this is going to loop from zero to five then it'll select one from here and here we're, what we want to set is the background color and we'll set that to let's say yeah light green you can set whatever color you want but that's what's in the original wordle so yeah we're gonna do that now what is the error missing semicolon okay let's see uh yeah basically the problem was is that uh here instead of a curly bracket actually put in a square bracket but yeah that's pretty much it so after that what we're gonna do is create an else if like that and here the condition is going to be that if the answer dot include so basically if the answer contains guess at i then what we're gonna do is just set property and here instead of that we're gonna do yellow so basically it in the answer it actually includes that letter but it's not in the correct spot so that's basically what it is okay now the last one it just means that the letter is just not in the word it's completely wrong so else and we're just going to paste the same thing set property background color and we'll set it to gray okay so yeah now that's our code for basically setting the background color so let's just see if that works so i'll just type like carry okay yeah the a is there and what's that which one yeah r yeah so yeah it's there in the word, but it's not in the correct spot. So that's why it is yellow and A, it's in the correct spot, so it's green. The rest are gray because they're just not in the word at all. Now, carts. And yeah, that's right. And we just type some gibberish. Yeah, everything wrong. So yeah, that's pretty good. So that works. Now we're going to implement like what we type here. Those letters should actually display in the labels so that's what we're going to do next so again just paste the set property and here instead of background color we're going to do text and it's not going to be light green it's going to be guess at i okay now let's just try the app and let's do like hello so yeah it displays up there but nothing is correct and Harry, yep, like that, and carts, and yeah, that actually works. So now, with that being said, that's pretty much it for the Wordle clone in AppLab. So obviously, you can like, uh, <coughs> so obviously, you can like change the answer according to your liking, or actually even create a list and loop through the list and select a random answer for each time the player plays the game. So yeah, with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.